Seven signs your intuition is telling you that you found your soulmate. Everyone is always in search of their soulmate. When we are in a relationship, don't you wish you could find your half and you will have an everlasting, beautiful and romantic relationship? Well, managing such a relationship isn't always that easy. You will later find out that even with your soulmate, your relationship won't always be beautiful. But it doesn't mean you won't be able to find your true soulmate. There are times when you are able to align your energy with the universe and you are lucky. It may seem impossible to find your other half among the other 7 billion people in this world, but it isn't something impossible. When you found your soulmate, you will see some of these signs about your perfect match. Remember that you may need to be more sensitive before you're able to see those signs. First, let's talk a little bit about the concept of soulmate. It's kind of difficult to define or explain the concept of soulmate, but those who are happy with their relationship and they have had the relationship for a long time, describe it as finding someone that fits you. They believe that soulmate is the one that accepts and sees you like the way you are. You are no longer pretending or putting on a mask. You can be your true self with that person. That person doesn't have to be romantic, but you somewhat can click to them. They can support you and help you grow and vice versa. And more importantly, the person is the one that will stay with you during the good and the bad. Well, pay attention to those signs even when the relationship is still early. Most people ignore those signs, leading them to believing that the relationship is pointless. However, if you listen to the universe and you open your eyes and your heart, the signs are pretty obvious. Before moving on to these lists, if you enjoy watching this video, please help to like and share this video, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any interesting updates in the future. Number one, a sense of comfort. Most people would indeed say I am comfortable with her or him during the early stage of their relationship, but such comfort isn't real. At least it's not something that you're looking for. In most cases, when the relationship is still new, the participants often put on a show. They still wear the masks of pretending and illusion. When you are completely comfortable with someone, you don't mind looking at her even when she's not wearing makeup. You don't mind spending time with him even when he is sweating and being such a mess from doing the labor. Number two, you aren't afraid of being you. Not only you need to be comfortable when being with the person, but you should also feel positive about yourself, even with them around you. You don't mind him seeing you with your pillow face and hair, and you're still confident even after she saw your hairy legs. You aren't afraid about your cooking skills. The two of you can even have a good laugh together. In short, you can show your real you without having to worry that he or she may run away scared or disgusted. Number three, you feel at peace. Being with your soulmate brings you comfort and a sense of freedom. You no longer have the urge to put on a mask and pretend. It is very deliberating. At the same time, you feel somewhat more peaceful whenever the person is around. Some people claim that they didn't feel the butterflies in their stomach, but it was more like their souls are clicking. It was like their soul finally found the missing piece. Number four, you are the balanced opposite. Some people who have found their soulmates claim that they are completely different from one another and yet they are able to balance everything. A woman has once told me, my husband is the laid back, relaxed type while I am the serious one. We are completely different and yet we are able to balance it out. Now I am more relaxed while he is able to focus on the important and serious matters. You know, being different isn't always a bad thing. Not if you are able to complete one another. Number five, you share the same values. Although you and your partner are a balanced opposite, you still share the same values. For example, you both think that raising the kids without the nanny or other people's influence would be the best thing. You both focus more on the moral principle than the religious one. You know that you're a soulmate when you find many matching elements between each other. Number six, a sense of familiarity. You have only known the person for a while, but it feels like it's been forever. Well, most people who are in the early stages of the relationship often feel this way, but it usually wanes out after a while. But if you have found out your soulmate, the familiar feeling will stay. It doesn't wane over, but it gets stronger. Get in touch with your inner self. If the feeling stays or even grows stronger, then it is your soulmate. Number seven, you strengthen each other. The rough path is the challenge of every relationship. In a weak state of the relationship, it weakens you over 
but it won't be the case when you have found your soulmate. Patchy and difficult obstruction will make both of you stronger. They will help you grow and develop to be wiser individuals. The person won't run away, but stay by your side and go through the storm. All in all, be more aware of those signs. If you are sensitive enough, you should be able to see those signs clearly. They are actually pretty obvious, but it depends on you whether to see them or ignore them. So what's your opinion about this? I hope you enjoy watching this cool video. And if you have something on your mind, don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.